This episode brought to you by healthwithdronetech.com. Research shows us that up to 50% of the U.S. population makes New Year's resolutions, but fewer than 10% will keep them after the first few months. One of my resolutions is feeling my best and looking my best, and I'll do that with Ageless Multicollagen. Collagen uses proven ingredients that make my skin healthier and more supple, which gives it that youthful look. Plus, I feel so much more vibrant when I'm on it. It's going to give me the energy that I need to stick with all my resolutions this year. Just go to www.healthwithdronetech.com and get my favorite collagen for 51% off today so you can look and feel your absolute best. Or click the link in the video description or pin comment. Hey, welcome back everybody. Drone Tech here. I got a great one for you this morning, but first make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you can be alerted to all my new content. Prosecutors in this case doctored evidence. They did not investigate this case, and when they had to come uh, to the court of the Senate to put their case on, because they hadn't done any investigation, they doctored evidence. It was absolutely shocking, I think, uh, when, uh, when we discovered it and we were able to expose it and put it out. Let's follow up with uh, with a point that you're making right now about the House managers, as you say, doctoring evidence and uh, and the argument. They didn't, de uh, they didn't to be deny clear for it. Our viewers, they didn't deny it. Uh, to I be put it in for, front of them to be three clear times. For our viewers, what, what you're what you're talking about now is is a check mark. Uh, that's a verification on Twitter that that did not exist on that particular tweet. Uh, a 2020 that should have actually read 2021, um, and the selective editing you say of, of the tapes is that how is wait, that wait, the wait, doctored wait, wait, evidence wait, 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 of what you're speaking? Wait, that's not enough for you. That's not enough for you. I'm, I, I'm, I, I, wait, wait, wait. No, sir, no, no. I'm trying. Listen, I, I'm not a listen. juror in this trial. That's, what I'm trying to be all... clear for our viewers is what, you, actually, is what you're we, referring we found, to. No, not no, everybody no, has found... been following. What really bugged me about this exchange is when she started trying to downplay the edited videos, the misleadingly edited videos. And we're quite familiar with this tactic from the media where they'll show part of what Trump said, but then not the rest of it to show context. A great example of this, and it was brought up at the trial, but the media selective editing of the very fine people quote, where they took out uh, the whole section where he actually condemned the neo-Nazis and the white nationalists, and then they claimed that he never condemned them. So we know that this is a fact, it's undeniable, and they showed the edited videos during the trial, and I posted that video yesterday. Uh, you can go ahead and check that out when you're done with this one. But they show conclusively that the video that was presented at the trial and in the media was edited. So for her to say that he says it was selectively edited, she's doing that to cast doubt uh, to the people watching, the millions of people watching who may not know any better. That The media really plays to the low information crowd because uh, unless you're actively out there trying to find the truth, you're not going to know because the media shows these selective edited clips. And then when you show that it's selectively edited, she, you get these hacks to come on that are pretending to be journalists, but she's a left-wing Democrat party hack. She comes on and says, oh, you say it was selectively edited. They show the selective editing during the trial. And then she kind of flippantly talks about the fact that they added check marks to tweets that they presented as evidence during an impeachment trial, as if that's no big deal. And the fact that they added dates to this evidence that didn't exist. And she just tries to blow this off, why? Because she has a vested interest in doing that. She's a Democrat state media propagandist, and that information is detrimental to the Democrats and to the media because they're presenting one thing, and then at the impeachment trial, they showed another, uh, clearly showing that the media has been deceptive along with the Democrat Party. That's bad for them, so she's got to go out there and, and do her best to make it seem like, oh, it's just a bunch of quackery. I am not a Listen, juror in this trial. What I am trying to be all, clear for our viewers is what you actually, is what you're we, referring we found, to. Because no, not no, everybody no, has found, been following. It's not okay. No, not everybody, to doctor sir, a little bit of evidence. Respectfully, respectfully I have not, not said it question, is. I have not said it is okay. Ma'am, your question is. I want turned. to be clear for our viewers. Listen, what I want to be clear for our is viewers the, about the what exactly you're saying start, when you say doctored evidence. The media has to start telling the right story in this country. The media is trying to divide this country. You are bloodthirsty for ratings and as such you're asking questions now that are already uh, uh, set up with a fact pattern. I can't believe you would ask me a question indicating that it's all right just to doctor a little bit of evidence. 
Look at this face. Look at her face. Her eyes get real wide. She starts looking kind of insane, like an insane person. She She's getting busted out live on national news, and she's quickly trying to do some sort of damage control. But it's like we know what she's doing. It's so obvious. Her words are dripping with condescension. And then when she gets called out on it, oh, no, 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 no. What? You're accusing me of being biased and misrepresenting? Oh, psh, I, I'm not a juror in this trial. Please, then why is she acting like this? Why is she downplaying what was clearly uh, uh, manipulated evidence? And like the lawyer pointed out, that the Democrats didn't even deny that. I'm reminded of the way the media lost their minds over supposedly manipulated video of both Joe uh, Biden and Nancy Pelosi. You may remember, because I did several videos about it at the time. This is what Trump tweeted out. Uh, long, took a little longer on the floor. The custody, custody of the border, of the border. Everyone, he uh, started making, sending signals. Oh. Working together to, to uh, make pass that not to, uh, if we where where the fat we, there are three things there are three things there are three things there are three things this video was not doctored in any way uh, there's a way to win a campaign without doing that it's one thing for a foreign government to be you know injecting themselves in our elections but it's another thing to see it espoused by the president <laughs> keep it together just keep it together. Just keep it together. I'm, I'm not going to explode this time. The bigger concern, you know, that Lisa and, and Michael were talking about is, is people who don't know that it's not real. People who don't know the difference and who believe that these are accurate depictions of politicians. <laughs> <laughs> but Donald Trump had retweeted a video of Nancy Pelosi stuttering and not making any sense. It was actually a video that ran on Fox News. It was not manipulated. It was edited to show a bunch of her screw-ups one after another, but it was not manipulated. The media found some video where her speech had been slightly slowed down. I mean, it was obvious that that's what had been done, but they claim that it was making its rounds and it was showing Nancy Pelosi sounding drunk, but it's a manipulated video. And they, everywhere you look, to watch out for these manipulated videos, their purpose, I believe, was to muddy the waters. That Trump had tweeted out that video, that was not manipulated, but they, they tried to claim that he had tweeted out a manipulated video. They were confusing the two videos on purpose so that when people will go on and see videos of Nancy Pelosi spurging out, not making any sense, oh, that's just a right-wing manipulated video. The, the media does these things to cast doubt, to muddy the waters. So how do you think the media reacted to this video of Nancy Pelosi that was supposedly doctored? I can guarantee you one thing, they weren't dismissive and condescending about it. A doctored video that attempts to make it look like Nancy Pelosi is slurring her speech. Crudely edited videos, doctored. It's, it's incredible, they're doctoring videos. Doctoring and the president videos. is sending around doctored videos again a doctored video retweeting that doctored video peddling a doctored video tweeted out a doctored video completely manufactured falsely a doctor 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 doctored video. video create a false impression but that's the media's job they are damage control they are not the fourth estate they're they're not out for the truth they are out to get democrats in power and then to advance their agenda and protect them but what should happen is somebody should look at the conduct of these house managers. It, it, it's unconscionable, aside from all of the due process violations that my client had. And the media should be looking at at a square, straight way. A straight way. When I watch the news, I watch one station and it's raining. I watch another station at the same time and it's sunny. Your coverage is so slanted, it's got to stop. You guys have to stop and start reporting more like PBS does. The other thing they did is they put Sir? a check mark on something to, to make it look like it was a validated account when it wasn't. And when they were caught, they didn't say anything about it. They didn't even try to come up with an excuse about it. And that's not the way our prosecutors or our government officials should be conducting themselves. And the media shouldn't be letting them get away with it either. I'm tired of the biased media to I this I last week. I understand, yeah. and I've given you, you the opportunity. You don't want to hear the truth. Yeah. Okay. I've given you the opportunity. I, I will remind you that what I said was that for our viewers who have not been following all of the hours of of this trial, mm -hmm. to be clear about what you what you are speaking about, and I understand. I'm speaking that you about seem the house managers' upset. failure to prove their case. 
That's that, that's what I'm telling and you. They you weren't able to prove their the case. Acquittal. You have won the acquittal of your client. Yes, and if you'd I like did. to continue to talk about this conversation, we can have that discussion. I don't need but, to. Uh, but for me to ask a question, a, 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 slant, a, a slanted question, viewers, a slanted question that was set up question. to say it's okay for them to cheat. That was your question. Isn't it okay for that. them to cheat? I didn't it's say just that. a little bit. You no. said to be fair, it was it's only fine. a check on the Twitter. Not... That's what you said. You got to live by your words. I, uh, I... That's the problem. The media has to start living by the truth. Okay, she was not trying to be clear. Go back and watch it. She was dripping with condescension. The entire point of what she was saying was to downplay or to cast doubt that there was any manipulated evidence. And she she's being truthful when she says she's speaking to her viewers who might not know much about it. They're, it's true. They don't know much about it. Why don't they know much about it? Because people like this hack here are purposely misleading people and keeping information that's inconvenient to their narrative from these people, which is why... She's got to ask the question in the way she did, dripping with condescension, because that alone is supposed to discredit anything he's saying. She can't discredit the evidence, so she's got to try and discredit him. And she does that with this, with her condescending, uh, dismissive attitude about the fact that evidence during an impeachment trial was manipulated. This is not up for debate. I will also say that at one point, uh, the lawyer brings up PBS and says that the media should be more like PBS. Uh, yeah, I don't agree with them there. PBS is just as bad, if not worse, than the other uh, Democrat state media outlets. I would say that they're worse because they actually get public funds and then they give them, they pay their left-wing activists who are pretending to be journalists like Yamanchi, and then you know they get that money. So that's, I, I don't want to be paying for left-wing propaganda, but I am. Of course, they'll say, oh, it's just 1%. It's just 1%. Guess what? That's millions of dollars. Anyway, that's about all I have to say on this one. It was a great showing by Trump's lawyer. I'm glad that he called her out on uh, her attempt to downplay and just dismiss the fact that Democrats manipulated evidence. I do have the full video of that uh, section of the impeachment trial. If you want to go watch it, I will link it in the description and in the pinned comment. Uh, if you would like to support this channel, you can find all the links for that there. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.